Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris Coverdale. So, um, this video is a little different, no real hands on. Um, what it is about is the uh, January updates for server 2022. Um, came across this at work, and uh, basically, we update our VMware templates on a regular basis when the Microsoft updates come out. So, we ran these updates everything looked like it went smooth and uh, everything said we were up to date however when we went to deploy new VMs from the 2022 server template uh, no image customization would run so had to dig into it and, and figure out what was going on there and what I found was that the uh, update failed but then basically went away gave a retry option but everything looked good everything looked like it was up to date and uh, the server uh, the VM was changed back to a template and then basically uh, wouldn't run image customization because the update was basically hung I've seen that in the past with other updates so uh, here's the fix for this one switch over I documented a little bit um, I don't have anything uh, here at home that is having the issue so um, here's the fix though I found uh, on checkyourlogs.net I think it was a nice article I linked I'll link to it in the description um, basically it's the uh, recovery partition that has an issue or if it's not configured properly so um, here's what it looks like once it fails and what will happen prior to that is the KB will be updating so you think installing it stuck at 0% for quite a while and then after that it basically fails and you get this error message so initially everything that I was coming up with on the internet was um, basically changed the size of the recovery partition and this particular VM we don't deal with any recovery partitions we basically blow them away on install so it didn't even have one so I extended the C drive so that there was additional space created the recovery partition jumped through hoops and didn't work so come to find out it's not really the size of the partition I mean it, it does this update is asking for more space in the recovery partition I think it's something like 128 meg the recovery partition is not very big to begin with so with that being said um, this little article I don't really need to go through it I'll post it in the description it is a nice walkthrough um, I don't know if I got the guy's name that wrote it but shout out to him and you, uh, check out the article check your logs.net so I'll post that in the description and once you do that basically rerun the update retry it and works as intended um, the other thing that I tried was uh, basically going out to Microsoft grabbing the new build version because this was the build version that we were using and uh, installed that ran the updates the updates actually from from January actually ran fine so everything updated as it should and then once that updated blew away the recovery partition because we don't we don't need it so with that being said I uh, hope this was a quick informative video for you uh, thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next one